Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today our topic is prepositions. The word preposition means place it before. Actually, prepositions are words like in, at, into, after, in spite of, on account of, etc. Which are used before nouns, place before nouns, pronouns, or verb forms ending in in. For example, run. To the gate. Sit in your place. What will you do by running away? Here I have placed preposition before noun, here before pronoun, and here preposition by has been placed before verb form ending in ing. Now, we use these prepositions frequently. In our conversation, in our every language, there are about 150 prepositions about which 70 of them we use in our daily communication. Now, rules governing the use of preposition. Number one. First of all, before going to elaborate the rules governing usage of prepositions, we must know that these prepositions denote relationship in space and time. Space can be a point and no dimension. For example, the plane landed the plane landed at Delhi. A line means one dimension, the cat on 
on the table line now a surface is to have two dimensions the board is on the roof now a surface a space is having three dimensions and can we get jot down here the word the cat is in the box learning usage of prepositions the first rule is all prepositions all prepositions have object if preposition is having no object it can surely be an adverb all prepositions have objects if preposition is having no object it can surely be an adverb not a preposition for example they are in the kitchen they are in the kitchen in is preposition and the kitchen noun kitchen is it precedes this preposition in precedes before the kitchen the kitchen is noun and here the kitchen acts as object it is object of is object of the preposition so this preposition is having this n n n is having preposition in is having object the kitchen so this in is a preposition now another sentence please come in please come in yeah in here acts and acts as an adverb it is here and is not preposition because it is not having object like in the sentence number 1 in other words it modifies the verb come it is an adverb here yeah, n is an adverb as it acts as a modifier of verb come second there was no way before me here yeah. preposition before this preposition before is having object me here yeah. me sir me is object this pronoun object me is object of the preposition before so here before is actus as a preposition because it precedes the pronoun me in this sentence 
second sentence is I have never seen it before. Here before acts as an adverb. It is followed by none. It is having no object. And country to having its own object, it is modifying the verb seen in the sentence. So it is here an adverb. Now example number third is I will I will call after work. I will call after work. Call after work. Here after is preposition because it precedes. Here it is having object. It precedes before. Work here. Work is word ago as an object. Question. And in this sense, he called it soon after, he after acts as an adverb, as it modifies the verb for verb called Number second. The second rule is that the propositions have no particular form. They, there are simple propositions which constitute of one word, for example, in, on, at, after, extra, and there are compound compound propositions which are made up of two or three words, for example, in spite of, on account of, etc. Remember that Preposition is always followed by a noun. The golden rule. A proposition is always followed by a noun it is never followed by a verb thanks goodbye